Hey everybody, I am Meg, and if you are new here, welcome, and if you have already been following me along on my furniture journey, welcome back. So I am going to be doing a mirror makeover. Now, I have so many mirrors left over from dressers that don't sell with a piece of furniture that I paint and I have a pile of mirrors left over. Now, instead of giving them away, I like to give them a makeover. I have other videos on my YouTube channel where I have made over lots of mirrors in different looks. You can do that as well. And I'm sure you have some mirrors as well hanging around from pieces that customers just don't want. So first of all, I took off those spokes and there were holes left on the top and I will fill those in in a minute. I covered up the glass mirror with some paper. This is just wax paper that I had left over on the side and then I made sure that I had tape all the way around the edges. So here are the holes where the spokes were and it was just some screw, screw dents so I filled those in with DAP wood filler. Once that was dried, I took some 220 grit sanding paper and just sanded the surfaces and sanded the wood filler nice and smooth, just so that the paint and primer have a good surface to adhere to. Once that was all sanded, I took my cred cutter spray and just sprayed around the edges, the trim, and then the top. Now, excuse myself for coming in front of the camera a lot, I had very little space here at the moment. <laughs> I have a lot of pieces going on. Now I had a vision for this piece and here you can see I had primed the entire mirror and then I painted with crinoline which is an antique white by Country Sheet Paint. Just making sure that I was spraying all of the areas so that I didn't miss any. Now, because this mirror is standing up on the ground, I had to put it up eventually onto another piece of furniture so that I could spray the bottom as well. Now I showed you those molds just now, and I'm gonna be using the Amazing Casting Resin just to make some molds. I have quite a few mold cases here, and each one has a different name, and I will put all of those in my description. So the resin comes with two bottles, A and B. You're going to pour each bottle into a container like I am doing right here. And the box comes with these little containers and you pour equal parts into each one. One is yellow and the other one's clear. Once I had done that, I poured it into a separate container. Now make sure that you're wearing gloves. This is really, really important because this stuff does not come off your hands very easily. So I always wear gloves. I poured each container into the bowl and then stirred really well. You keep stirring until it becomes clear and not misty. It does come with these little popsicle sticks to stir, but I didn't have those. And so I am just using a paint stir stick. I also noticed that I didn't have equal parts. So I poured in a bit more of the clear part as I was running out. So as you can see here, I just poured the liquid into the mold, making sure that it was level and to the top. And as you can see on the other one, I have already filled in parts of them. So what happens is they start to turn white and it gets quite warm. Once they turn completely white, then it's done. So here's what they look like. So once I had pulled them all out of the, the molds, I placed them all on the mirror in place of where I wanted them. 
and I started to paint but I realized that I they were all moving and it just really was not working out and I didn't really think about that so I had gone out and bought some Gorilla Super Glue. This stuff is amazing, but I will say this, you need to wear gloves. You also need to wear eye protection and you also need to wear a respirator because it stinks. It is really strong and when you squeeze the bottle, the vapor air sort of comes out and if it goes into your eyes or your lungs it just it just stinks it's not good so i wore all the protective gear and then i squeezed it on now this bottle was actually the gel but you can get liquid and i apologize for my angle here it's not very great but as you can see at the top i'm just putting the gel super glue onto one of the molds and then putting them into place So here's a closer look. All I did was put gel super glue onto the mold, making sure it was completely covered with the glue, turned it over. Now I did have one hand here because without the glove on, I was mostly working with the one hand. And then you're gonna hold it again. So that was the bottom corner of the mirror and this is the top corner. I'm not completely covering the entire mirror trim, just the top right and the top left. So here I am just taking off the paper and the tape now that the molds are all in place and glued down. It's actually fun to take the paper off. Although I did notice I had a little bit of paint spray on the glass, but that's okay. Windex will remove that. So then it was time to top coat the, all of the molds and the trim. And I used Country Chic Paint Clear Coat. And all I did was just brush it on. So here's one last look of what the mirror looked like. And here's what it looks like now. I think it turned out really pretty. The molds really make it just so beautiful. Now it's not that boring wood mirror, outdated, but now it just looks amazing. And I think it would look amazing in any room or on any wall. I will put all of the names of the molds in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you next Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern with a new video. Take care and have a wonderful day.